Hi, so in this video I wanted to tell you about my Neff coffee machine and what happened when there was no coffee coming out of it, not even going through the cleaning routine where it dribbles some water out of the two front nozzles. Now in the rest of this video I'm going to go through step by step what I did to taking the machine apart, checking it all, everything like that and what conclusions I came to. But if you don't want to watch that and you don't want to get bored and you just want to uh, know what actually did happen in the end, I will tell you right now. Now over time the coffee machine was getting worse and worse. Basically over about four weeks or six weeks before it completely stopped working, the, the amount of coffee coming out of it was getting less and less and less in the cup. So I knew something was wrong. Uh, eventually it stopped completely and nothing was coming out of the nozzles at all. So what happened was after a few days, after I'd taken it all apart, had a look at it, I came to the conclusion that it was the valve, the ceramic valve inside that was the problem. And after I'd got to that conclusion, there was nothing else I could do. So I decided to phone up the Neff engineer and get them round instead, because I knew if I bought the part and it wasn't correct, I was going to be left with this part that I could do nothing with. So I thought, give them the responsibility of getting the right part in. Now, a Neff Engineers in the UK is about £100, um, but they came back twice and all the labour is included and you just pay for the part. Now, I waited two weeks for the Neff Engineer to come round um, and they did come round and then they thought it was the actual brewing unit inside, the big, large plastic part. Now, I was unconvinced basically because... That part has nothing to do, I believe, with the cleaning part when you get uh, the water out of the two nozzles at the front. So I didn't believe it. But basically, they went away for two weeks over Christmas and wait for the part to come in. Uh, when the Neff engineer did come back, he basically didn't bring the, uh, the brewing unit with him. He actually brought the valve with him, which I thought it was. He fitted the valve and it fixed it. OK, so the valve costs about £65 uh, in England. And you can fit it yourself. I even took it off in these videos and uh, replaced it. So, you know, as I say, I didn't replace it. I actually took it off, had a look at it and put it back. Um, so you can do it yourself if you want to. Uh, so it's not a problem if you've got the same problem as me. Now, one thing that the Neff engineer did say, and you may want to also try this, is that when they take the machines back to the um, department, the, the, back to the bench, back to the engineering department, uh, and they take them away, they have been known to actually put um, descaling liquid uh, through and just flush it through the machines again and again and again. Uh, so they told me to try that while they were waiting for the parts to come in. So I did that. I went down to my local uh, Wilco store and I bought two different makes of uh, descaler and I basically went through the descaling process. So instead of using a tablet as a descaler and mixing it with water, this was actual liquid descaler that you would kind of put in a, a kettle or anything like that. And they're not very expensive um, to buy. So I ran that through the system three or four times um, to clear everything out, but that didn't help me, but it might help you. So it's worth giving it a go. Now here's the rest of the video with me dismantling the machine and putting it back together just in case you want to watch those parts as well. So at the moment, uh, the Neff coffee machine is not outputting any water. They can put out boiling water by the main spout, but nothing's coming out of the two individual nozzles for a cup of coffee. So, so far I've just taken it out, taken the lid off, torque screwdriver on the top. Uh, I've just emptied out most of the beans, got a few more to see if I can get a few more beans out of there. And I'm just about to take the brewing unit out of the side as well. Give that a clean, which I do do from time to time. But we've got a blockage somewhere. And I've got to just find out where that blockage is. So the grinding unit has just come out. This is the grinding unit. Basically, you push a button, a red button at the back here. Uh, I can show you that inside the unit. Uh, this is... The disgusting grinding unit which I do clean from time to time but I haven't done it in a little while so I'm going to give this um, a thorough clean just to get rid of all the old disgusting kind of coffee grinds and things that are in there and this is what the inside of the uh, coffee machine now looks like pretty disgusting in here so this needs um, a good clean as well to be honest 
So lots of old dried coffee grounds to clean up on this one. Then we'll get the horse, then we'll get the sides off basically uh, and we'll get inside and we'll see what condition the pipes look like. So carrying on, we've got the sides all off and basically what you need to know about this is that they're held on by kind of three clips at the bottom and they're attached to the side wall as well. So once you've unclipped these, they should be quite loose because they don't screw into this side bit here. They just kind of go in and clip down. And I was checking out tubes really. So the tubes look really clean to me. The water intake tubes, um, the milk tube was dirty to start off with, but then I did a cow can clean and it cleaned up. These are harder tubes. Uh, all very clean as well. I did have the bean hopper off. That's quite easy to get off. Um, you just kind of lift it off really. And it's got some clips on the other side uh, holding it down. Just a couple of clips. But the part, and I don't know if you're going to see, that seemed really dirty. The only pipe that seemed really dirty was this one in here, which comes from the brewing unit on the other side. And it's got a brown tinge to it. And you can see as it goes... Um, all the way through to the uh, front unit and that's the front unit of course that uh, if I demonstrate that goes up and down like that so I had the top off been hopper off uh, I've cleaned all the brewing unit uh, you'll know that because if you go around the other side that's the thing inside the door so I was getting nothing out. So what I also cleaned all this as well, uh, put some dry lube on this as well, on these springs because it was a little bit tight. And also, um, where are they? Any of the outlet parts, especially this one, this was the tube on the other side that was brown. I actually put um, a tube over that and blew through that to make sure that was clear. Uh, and it kind of was. I do want to clean the pipe still though. So I cleaned all that and it did need cleaning. The brewing unit did need cleaning. Um, if we come around the front, I've actually taken the front off now as well. Uh, so I'm cleaning all that out. And I think this is the problem. I hope this is the problem. If it isn't, then I'm calling an F engineer, I think, because I've just about done everything else and it's going to be spare parts and a full kind of takedown inside, which I kind of don't want to do really, nor have the time to do. But basically on the top here, if you want to get the front off, there are two screws on the top. One is here, and the other one is, as you can probably see it, oop, focus, under here as well. Once you release those two screws, you can see the top of the two screws here. And then your front plate will just kind of come away. leaving the uh, back box on there which I have just had to literally pull off I think it's on these two clips um, it's not screwed on at all the front okay and I'm just cleaning that now so I've cleaned the front of this up and I've blown through I pushed some water through but I've blown through this tube it may look really brown um, but it's clear as a bell to be honest there's nothing coming out of there so yeah just hot air, just my air coming through the uh, other side. So I'm going to put it all back together again now uh, and see if I can get it cleaning. So this is the front unit. It looked very disgusting. Um, so this is the front unit. Actually, it's that way around, isn't it? Um, so I've got to the back. It's quite disgusting inside. You can see here, I've cleaned the bottom up a fair bit. Um, I'm just going to carry on cleaning that. As you can see, there's a lot of rubbish coming out, a lot of old rags. I've cleaned the chrome nozzles as well. I've taken those off the front and cleaned those. And the poor old LED uh, circuit board, I don't think that's ever worked. I've just removed that and unclipped it so that I can uh, clean. But I'll just give that an extra clean. It's never worked. I think water just gets in there and stops it from working. Um, the actual uh, cassette dispenser nozzle. I've just put it in some de in some uh, descaling fluid in here that I'd used previously. 
I'll just take it out. There was a lot of rubbish in this, I must admit, and this is the part that I had um, replaced previously by a Neff engineer, mainly because these nozzles were cracked and coffee was sort of spurting out everywhere and not hitting the cup. Um, it's an easy job to do yourself if you can get to the front because this part is only about 10 to 15 pounds, I believe. So, you know, quite a cheap part uh, to buy. There's the inlet nozzle. On the top there you can blow through that as i have been um, and then there's two nozzles on here and i basically submerged this in hot water to start off with and basically just kind of got some water going through it a lot of rubbish came out of it um, i hope that was the issue as i say if not i'm at a bit of a loss of what to try next so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to basically um, run some more hot water through this and get it as clean as I can. And then I'm gonna clean the front sort of cage unit. And then I'm gonna basically put it all back together again. So if you wanted to know how that goes in there, basically that just the nozzle sits outward on that. And then you just poke the two pieces through, I believe, unless I need to take the chrome nozzles off again. No, just push through. There you go. And it just locks into place, but you can just pull it out. So that's how that fits in. And then the tube, the brown tube on the front there, I'm going to marry that up with that tube. And then I'm just basically going to push it all back together. So this is the continuing saga. All right, I've put everything back together um, and I've managed to put the front back on. Still no liquid out the front. Oh, it's driving me crazy. But I did notice um, some dripping inside onto this uh, white container unit down the bottom here. I was thinking, well, where's this water coming from? It seems to be coming from the valve. This is the valve part. Basically, it's three screws on the other side in the uh, brewing uh, section when you take the brewing um, part out, the plastic part, um, then these three screws come undone and you've got this um, valve here. Can you see, you probably can, the crusting, it's not getting me focused there really, can you see this kind of crusty um, part inside this valve and I have no idea really what um, this valve do it does but it's very crusty in here it does not look good let's get a bit of extra light in there you can see how crusty it is around the top here So that part is on the other side. That part is the bit on the other side. It's very crusty. It makes me think this part is the leaking part and the valve's not working. But I'm not sure because I'm getting hot water out, tea hot water at 90 degrees. And surely would the valve be used for that? So I've booked a Neff engineer for two weeks time. Two weeks is gonna to take to get someone out to look at it. So I've got two weeks to figure it out myself. Uh, it can cancel right up until the day. So I think it's the valve. This part is 65 uh, British English pounds. Uh, so it's quite, I mean, it's not a bad price, but then you're paying 100 pounds for the Neff engineer to come out. So you're gonna be looking at 165 if that's the only things that need doing. And you can buy a bean to cup, a basic one, uh, that's a small unit that grinds beans, gives you coffee uh, with a two year guarantee. This uh, Black Friday kind of week for around 230 pounds. So it's really difficult to know whether to just buy a new coffee machine that's a small compact unit or whether to persevere this coffee machine was built in 
2009. It's now 2021. So it's quite old, but I just feel like I've got to get it working again, that I can't just dump it and uh, leave the kind of gaping hole that it kind of left. Whereas I could convert this hole uh, into put a false back on, take the bottom tray out, and then have like a coffee machine, a small kind of coffee machine in here with a few coffee cups piled up. It looked pretty good, but it wouldn't have a front. Uh, I can't get a new, uh, a matching front for this cupboard. So it would be a bit of a gap where the machine was, but we'll just have to see. So that was my story in the end. In the end, it was the valve. Um, I still don't think I'm getting as much uh, coffee out in the cup quantity wise as I did originally but what I do now is I kind of get my coffee out on the large cup setting and then what I do is I scroll sideways to uh, 90 degree tea water and I just add a bit of extra hot water onto into the coffee mug um, and then I get the quantity out that I want but at the moment it is working so I'm kind of happy with the price that I paid which all in all with 100 pounds from the Neff engineer and about 60 65 pounds for the part £165 in the end. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you managed to get this far sitting through it all, hope it wasn't too boring for you uh, and you picked out the bits of information that you needed. Uh, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them for you. Uh, as I say, thanks for watching. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you soon.